The following program is video supplemental instruction. VSI is brought to you by the Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu. Okay, so for number 11, we have a limit problem where we're dealing with absolute values. This is something a little bit different than the limit problems we've done before. So, and we're only doing the limit uh, from one side as x approaches 2 from the right. We have the function 6 minus 3x over absolute value of 2 minus x. Okay, so what we need to determine here is that we can't evaluate this limit without getting rid of the absolute value. So remember um, from pre-calc, getting rid of an absolute value is, uh, you need to determine is it going to be positive or negative? Because if what's inside is going to be positive anyway, you can just take away the absolute value bars. If what's inside is going to be negative, throwing a negative out front of it is the same thing as doing the absolute value. So we're playing in a number larger than 2. If we do 2 minus a number larger than 2, that's definitely going to be negative. So we know no matter what, what's inside here is going to be negative, and if so, we can write, rewrite it with a negative sign out front, and that's the same thing, because doing a negative of a negative makes it positive just like absolute value does. However, in this form, we can actually do some algebra. You can see now you can factor 3 out of the top, and we get the 2 minus x's to cancel out completely. 3 divided by negative 1 is just negative 3, and now we don't even have an x to plug in this value for, so obviously then our answer is just negative 3, which is answer choice D. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu.